Hey everybody, welcome back to another drone tutorial. So we have an animal one for you today. It's a King Cobra this time. So um, it's like hissing, it's got its mouth open. We can see the fangs and the tongue and stuff like that. So we're gonna start with the main shape for the Cobra's head. You know those big, it's a King Cobra. So those big wings that come out from the top of the head. So the top of the head is right up here at the top of my page. And these big wings, so the one on this side will start here and it's going to curve all the way. So we're going to bring it out. Real big. So it starts like this. Carving out like so. And this is going to come all the way down to its skinny body. So we're going to bring this down. Like so. And these join his head. So his head sort of bumps across the middle for the scales and then we have another one that comes down the other side, right? So we have kind of his forehead, the top of his head comes up here like this. This is gonna come down in the middle of his head. There's a bit of a bump just here. And then it goes back up the other side, around, down like so. And then like on this side, it's going to join those those wings that are on this side. So that's like the top of its head. So two bumps for the top of his head here. And then this is going to come back down the other side, like so. Don't worry if they're not symmetrical, you know, his head could be turned a different way. They don't have to be totally the same on both sides. So I'm just bringing this down in that like wide sort of shape. So it's going real wide and then we start to travel in towards the neck. So all the way in until it touches his um, neck here, which is long. So it's kind of like a wine glass sort of shape with these two bumps on top for his head. So we could do a long line this way and a long line this way. So his head is kind of snaking, you know, bending this way a little bit. You could go straight down if you wanted. So that's sort of the kind of thing we're looking for to start off. That's the main shape for his head, okay? So we'll go back up to the head. We'll leave this here until we know how long his mouth is gonna be and stuff because we can join that up afterwards. So we'll, we'll focus and try and get his head done. So just up here from this, the end of the bump, we're gonna go down around his mouth. So around for the top, top lip and the top of his head and stuff. So this is gonna come down. And it's going to kind of bump around, kind of like this. And you could do something similar on this side. So we're going to go bumping sort of out and around, kind of like that. Don't worry if they're not 100% symmetrical. They don't really have to be. So then these shapes come right up to the middle of his lip, so here. So just here you have the center of his lip, kind of this curving section here. And then these are kind of come down and around, like a smile, kind of like a smile line. So they're gonna come down this way. And they're gonna come around the side of his face. So they're gonna come down and around here. Like so. And then we do pretty much the same thing on this side. So we're gonna bring it down and around like so. Now, so then his eyes. So right in here, we have 
two, they're not perfect circles because the his uh, snake's eyes look like off to the side, they're on the side of his head. So they're not um, perfect circles, they're sort of longer, an ellipse style shape. So we have a circle like so. And then over here we have another one, long sort of oval ellipse type shape, see that? Then of course he has his snake, his snake eyes. So we have a curve line, long skinny curve line like that. And a long skinny curve line over the other side, like so. Then of course the snake's head is covered in scales. So we have a main sort of round one in the middle, sort of going up this way, back down the other side, like so. And then there's some that come down the side of his face. So sort of coming down this way. So like in a line, sort of going down the bottom of his face like this, coming down here, like this. Like so. And then we have more coming down this way. Sort of in a line coming down on the top of his lip, kind of like they kind of look like teeth, kind of when you have them all together like that. Uh, there might be one just on top of this nose section here as well. And then they get kind of bigger as they go up around his head. So we have a main line that runs up the middle of his head like this, and then this has some scales coming off this way. So we have one here. This comes out close to his eye. Like so, and then comes back in towards his nose. Like that. This one comes out around the other side as well. Like so. Then we have another one on top of that one. Comes right in close to his eye. Down in here. Same on the other side. Close to the eye, back in there. Then um, we have some that are around his eye. So we have scales in here. Scales in here. So these ones kind of go around his eye, kind of in maybe sort of an eyebrow-like fashion. So there's one that like comes right across his eye there. And then there might be a little bit of an eyelid coming down that way. And this one will go up and behind his head. And then we have a small one just in here. And then we're going to add some smaller ones just around his eye. Coming in that way. Like so. Another one in here. Coming around his eye, just like so. Another one up in here, and then breaking up this section here as well for another layer, like this. And maybe right at the edge of his head, there might be some bigger ones, just coming up around into here.
So some on the side of his head, some down here. I would suggest using the pencil for this, guys, and pause the video if I go too fast. All these scales, adding them all in. You can kind of get it once you get a feel for it. You can kind of make them up as they go along, because like all they're kind of like our fingerprints. All King Cobra's um, lines are sort of different to one another. So then, once you have one side done, you can go over to the other side and sort of figure it out as you go. Sort of more of an eyebrow line there again. And then we add some coming around his eye, just in here. All going around as I breaking those shapes up into more scaly sections. They're like little irregular boxes and stuff. This one comes down real big, kind of like there. They don't have to be identical on both sides either. They could be a bit different. Just kind of breaking up the space into these kind of irregular shapes. Another one here. Oh, all around. Okay, so once you have most of that done, we can start to think about now the jaw. So coming down from the side of his face, so his jaw is really extended, right? So he has real long, wide mouth. So starting right here at the edge of his head, you're going to do curved line coming in like that so it's going to come down to um, the bottom of that just down here so it starts real wide curves out like so and starts to come in so we can bring it in start to bring it down both sides all the way trying to get a feel for it and then figure out where his tongue is going to be sticking out. So if, if his tongue is going to be in here, you don't really have to worry. But if it's hanging, if it's like hanging out over his lip, you got to just figure out where you want to put it. So I'm going to bring it around. Let's see, we'll go right the way underneath. Back up and my tongue is going to come out just here in this gap. Okay, but if you wanted, you could, if you were using pencil, which I suggest you do, you can keep that line going and then fit, draw your tongue anywhere you want and rub out to your line. I'm just going to leave my gap right here. So then, so on the edge, so he has sort of a scaly part. So it's like his, his lip and then the, the red part of his mouth inside here. So we're going to draw the edge of that mouth just here, following that line all the way down and around. Into here, we've got a little bump at the bottom, like so. And then we'll keep going up, curve it around the other side. We're gonna meet that gap again, and then we're gonna go up the other way. So we do up the other way here, all the way into there, similar to the other side. 
And then, of course, there's all uh, scales and stuff on this. So he has two big scales right on the jaw part, two round sort of ones just right here, one on the other side too. And then this line joins the edge of his lip and up in there. Same on this side. Curve it down that way. Back up in. And maybe another scale there. And then there's some lines and stuff down along here to show different sort of scale lines. Various bumps and lines and things for scales. Like so. Coming down like this. Coming across his lip. Coming down. Kind of a big one right in the center here. And then some more coming up like this. So his uh, his fangs. So we've one fang right here. So it starts, comes out of his gum. So we have a curved line here. Another one just here, like so. And then this is gonna come down to a point. And this side is gonna come down to a point as well. So just until they meet wherever you feel happiest. You can do them as long as you want, as short as you want. Down to about there. This one down to about here too. Like so. And then of course these fangs, at the minute they look like they're just floating. So we're gonna add some lines just for his gum, just here. So it comes down like this, and then it's gonna come into his mouth there. Same on this side. Line coming down that way. And this is gonna come into the side of his mouth there. And then these will have just a little bump, just coming up this side as well. And maybe coming around, just coming around here to show they're actually like growing in to the skin there. And then this of course inside here is all wrinkly and ripply and sort of gnarly looking. So we've got like some very skin lines on it. And then there's like a dark shadow inside here. So just about here, we just got to draw a line for where the tongue starts. So it's a real long tongue. And then inside here is all going to be dark black in shadow. So this is going to curve around is all these bumps and this is all going to be dark inside. Now, so then we have uh, the center of the tongue. So it's, they're, they're strange things, uh, snake tongues. It's kind of uh, real big and flat here on this part. And then it gets, comes out to the spiky part down here. So this shadow sort of continues down this way along the tongue. Sort of down along here. Like this and then we have various sort of bumps and sort of uh, shapes that come out from the tongue so we have like a line coming down here they're kind of like wrinkles and all folds for skin and stuff like that so coming down here comes out to the mouth there then we have an edge to this part like so And then these kind of join together here, and then this comes down further. Let's do about there. And then maybe some wrinkly sort of skin lines inside there. Uh, 
And then we've some more over the side as well. So sort of coming down behind the fang. We have a, a similar section to this over here. So this line comes down following the shape for that mouth inside. Comes down to here. And this kind of, we have two sort of sections that curve around sort of here at the bottom. One there and then maybe a smaller one just down under here, but it's under where the tongue sticks out for me. Then we have a shape right up the middle, just sort of here. Comes up in a sort of a, and like an arrow pointing up like this. And then we have these sections that come back. More of these wrinkle lines coming back this way. Kind of like veins or bumps and stuff like that coming back this way. All in here. You can add maybe some hatching or shadow just up at the top here. Not 100% necessary, of course. Maybe more lines here, maybe some darker lines just in here. So the corner of his mouth should be pretty dark because there's like, should be maybe a shadow in there. Maybe some more shadow here. Just adding some as much texture lines as we can, sort of making it look sort of slimy, I guess. So then, this tongue of his, right, so it kind of comes out from here, so it's gonna go curve up from this sort of middle line here, so it curves up like this. And it's gonna come out this section, the gap that I left. Of course, you could do yours anywhere if you wanted, if you were doing it with pencil. And then this is gonna curve out and around, and then it's come, come down real long, like so. And then this has its fork, so we go up like this. Down to the next spike, and then this comes back up. Into here. Like so. And then the bottom of the tongue comes down beside this, in around here, and sort of joins back up into this skin section sort of in here. There might be a shadow just underneath this tongue, just in here, sort of a dark section. And then maybe some shadow just down here too. Maybe with a, a white sort of shine part to it. In here perhaps, maybe just here. And then the rest of it could you could do, you could color it in dark black or dark red of course. I'll just do a dark black just so we can have a look at how it kind of looks when it's colored in. Might change it to red afterwards anyways. Just adding another line up here, like so. And then just going to put some more details up in here as well. But I think that's enough for, that's his head. So now we're going to just join it to the neck. So we have a line just here. Join that all the way down there. And this one's going to come up inside here. And up around, kind of bump out a little bit here. And then go up to the jaw inside here, like so. Then of course there's all lines on that, 
So all lines that curve around, sort of going down the neck. So you're gonna break it up into sections and maybe a few more sections like this. Now, so then in the hood, so we have um, a section just for where it folds over. So we're gonna go down this way. And then there's just a little edge to it, runs down the whole way, down into there. And then something similar over here, so all the way, bring it down. And just a small rim or edge like so. Now, so the very last thing we have to do is add scales to these if you want, or you could you could of course just color um and not do the scales, but but there is a section so they have um in here there's sort of circular shapes. So it's like they're camouflage sort of uh, shapes on their on the hood So it's just we have a circular sort of shape here Same on this side Doesn't have to be a perfect circle Down like so and then there's another circle around it I'm doing it a bumpy line because it's on scales, so It should be bumpy really and then another one around here. So I'm going to start adding scales to the hood here. Um, I'll probably have to speed it up because it might take a while. But I'll just do the first few so you can get the idea. <clears throat> so starting here on the edge, we're just going to start adding all these bumps around like so. Like this, and then when you get to the edge, you're gonna just add rims like so going around. On the other side too. So there are these um, long sort of skinny kind of shapes that go down all the way down just these bumps and then when you get to about here they're going to start to just become lines like so and then you build it up in layers. So the next layer will go on top of that one. Like this. And you'll see there's like a scale in, like so we have a dip in between the scale and that's where the next scale starts. And then we just keep going. Yeah, so once we've that done, we can add scales all in here if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. The thing about the scales on this side is they're just bigger than these ones, because these are kind of falling behind his head, so they look a bit skinnier here. So these ones are just gonna be a bit bigger. Sort of like so. All going. Around. So we've like a line of them that come down. So they're going to curve this way. They're going to follow the curvature of the snake's hood. So we're going to go around like that. And that's going to go down all the way in layers. So like this. So that's say one layer. And then the next one is underneath.
like so. And we keep going all the way down. Okay, so that's one side done. <laughs> Time for the other side. Now, yeah, so that's most of the scales in, and I'm gonna just add a um, darker line just around where this black section would be. You could, of course, color this dark brown or any darker color and there's a darker color around here so i'll just highlight this a bit more just so we can see it a bit better just darken up this line just so we know where we're putting our darker colors and lighter colors just around here just in here and if you wanted you could add a shadow just to this side of the neck just with a few hatching lines sort of just coming down this way and maybe around the this side of the hood as well sort of coming down in here but of course you could always just color that darker doesn't have to be so you could like color it in like a darker black, maybe darken it up. Or you could do like a darker brown or darker green, depending on what color you're coloring your snake. So always thinking about sort of your colors and stuff like that. Maybe some light shadow line coming down here. You know, just getting a feel for the drawing, how it looks. Maybe I, I like thicken this up a bit, make it a bit darker. adding some shadow here as well um, but not bad I'm gonna put a shine in his eye as well and that this will be the, the last bit I think I think it's done okay a King Cobra thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next video